In classrooms across the country each week, teachers spend time developing SEL lessons to teach to our kids. SEL stands for Social and Emotional Learning. You may find that there are some valuable skills in there that we could benefit from as adults. Hi, my name is Chantel. I'm a teacher, a speaker, a coach and a mom. And my goal with this channel is to introduce you to ideas, concepts, give you food for thought, things that you can take and use to construct whatever you decide the best version of your life may be. On LinkedIn and career platforms everywhere, emotional intelligence or self-awareness is a skill that's rated highly. It's something that organizations look for when they're employing people, especially leaders. And you may think that, well, if you're generally well-liked and you get along with people, then you must have this whole EQ thing down, right? Well, wrong. Well, not about being well-liked. At two of the schools I've served, we use a social and emotional learning curriculum known as Toolbox. Kids talk about how they use Toolbox, why it's valuable to them, and judge us adults pretty harshly for not being able to do the same. Well, today I'd like us to take a leaf out of the Toolbox book and reflect on three of the tools that I think are really relevant and helpful in a way that will positively impact the contribution you make in your leadership or self-leadership journey. The first really important one is known as the taking time tool, taking time in and taking time away. It's actually a really powerful self-awareness mechanism. So when a student has had a negative interaction or has done something that's not representative of the best of who they are, a conversation may sound something like, well, what were you feeling when this happened? How did you know that you were feeling that? Where did the feeling live in your body? You felt angry? Was it in your tummy? Was it in your chest? All of these are things that help us identify, firstly, what is the trigger of the thing that made us upset? And secondly, how did we know that it was coming on? Because it's in that gap between when you feel the feeling and you act, that you're able to redirect your energy, take control of the situation and show up as your best self. If they can identify what it was that they were feeling, take time in, then they can interrupt the action before the negative thing takes place. I'm feeling kind of upset right now. It's sitting in my chest. I know I'm probably going to act in a way that I don't really want to. So then they'd use one of their other tools, the breathing tool, for example. Or they could use their words tool and speak to someone about it. And these same tools are available to us as adults. The whole premise of Toolbox is that there are 12 tools that you can use. That you don't have to go out and get somewhere else. They're inside you at all times. So taking time in helps you identify the awareness for what it is that you need. Taking time away means that you can strategically distance yourself from situations. The second tool is your listening tool. And it says, I listen with my eyes, my ears, and my heart. That means when you're listening to someone, when you show up in a way that you really want to hear what it is they have to say, you're looking at them, you're being attentive, you're hearing the words that they're saying. And if you're listening with your heart, you're paying attention to what, what they're saying means to them. You're not showing up in a communication situation with a prepackaged solution because you think you have all the answers. Kids adapt to this a lot better than many of us adults do. There are many times when I've been listening to someone and I'm kind of just waiting for them to get to the end of their sentence because I feel like I know exactly what they should do next. But that's not really what cultivates self-awareness and an EQ that supports good relationships with other people. Which, if you're looking to be a leader or even a self-leader, is something that you're going to need. So using your listening tool can help you get on top of the predisposition to respond. The third one, and the one I've been counseled most frequently by my own children to use, is the garbage can tool. And that means letting the little things go. So if there's something that doesn't merit your reaction or attention, just let it go. This is the kiddie equivalent of picking your battles. I don't have to tell the teacher every time someone says that they don't like peanut butter. I can let that stuff go. For an adult, it's simply about identifying what deserves your attention. What are the things that you're going to respond to? If the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem resembles a nail. And if you can get a handle on when to use your garbage can tool, you could certainly conserve your energies a lot better and use them in a way that supports what you want to achieve in that moment or that day. If you want to know more about Toolbox, then go ahead and check it out at the link that I shared above and there's one in the description as well. And take a moment to look at the article that I've shared also. It gives a really keen insight into what emotional intelligence looks like, why it's important, and what the different facets are. It's definitely a misconception to think that emotional intelligence is something that comes naturally. Something many of us learn or don't. It may not be something that we've seen modeled for ourselves. And that may be a factor in us holding ourselves back from the things we want to accomplish or the goals we've set. 
So I hope that today's video has inspired you to take a little dive into the self-awareness pool and at the very least start using three of your 12 tools because you are born with them. If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to share it with someone that you think may enjoy it too. And until next time, stay safe. See you soon.